Hey, welcome guys. This is going to be doing a review of the Chromecast version 2. This is the upgraded version that Google has released to the successor of the original Chromecast, which was released a couple years ago. So let's see what we have in store this time around. Now, on one side, you have the HDMI dongle, which will be connected directly to your TV, obviously. And generally, though, the design of it is very simplistic. The HDMI dongle itself actually has a magnetic clip, so it can actually clip in on itself to the Chromecast. And if you can just fit it barely to an HDMI dongle like this, you can actually keep it very compact behind your TV or yes, even your computer monitor if you want to connect it to it. Now in the box, there's not a lot of contents available. There's the Chromecast unit itself. There's about approximately five and a half foot power cord. On one side, you have an AC adapter and on the other side, you have a micro USB port, which is basically designed to connect directly to the Chromecast itself. And yes, you do have the ability to remove that AC adapter because if you do have a USB port on your TV, you can connect it to the USB port directly onto your TV for power instead. And if you decide to use the USB port on your TV, if you have one available as a power source, or if you just feel that the cord is too long, there's actually a Velcro strap attached to the cord for some nice cable management. On the unit itself, there are almost no buttons available. In fact, there's only one single button available and its only purpose is to factory reset device. So if I have to completely wipe it and start it from scratch, Press and hold this button while it's on and I'll reset it completely and wipe all data. There is an included adapter so it supports 5GHz wireless signal so essentially if you have an AC Wi-Fi router you'll get an amazing signal strength with this Chromecast unit. That's one of the main things Google has upgraded over the first version because if you have a powerful enough router you will not care about the router being close to your Chromecast to make it work properly. Now one of the most important elements of the Chromecast itself is actually how you use the Chromecast app on your Android device. Now there's also the ability to use it in a Chrome web browser, but I'll get into that later. Now, the Chromecast app itself is pretty important because it's where you get to control a lot of the features of the Chromecast unit. So for example, you have like a daydream function, which is more like a screensaver function for your TV. And you actually stream pictures from Flickr, your Facebook account, and tapping on what pictures being shown from Google will actually take you to a website. So in this example, this picture's from NASA, so tapping on it will take you to the NASA website, giving you more details regarding it. Yes, you get to see what's on, which is more of a kind of a recommendation system. Although I have to notice that it's not that great at recommending what I really might be interested in. However, it is a dedicated section as I just showed you where there are current apps available on my phone which will work with the Chromecast. So it kind of has an auto detection feature to tell you that, hey, these apps you have will work. You also have the ability to cast audio and video, which I'll be demonstrating later. And you have promotional offers if you have like a Google Play store credit. You can actually get apps, so it actually has like a full dedicated section on to look for apps that are available for your device. Most of them are actually catered towards streaming services. So for example, NBA TV, so you can watch NBA games live if you want to. You have Netflix, all just to filter straight from your Android device straight to the Chromecast unit itself. It's not a lot of games. I mean, when you think about it, it really wouldn't work that well. So it's only natural to have more streaming services like Spotify, for example. And they actually work for the most part great, but that's more dependent on how the developer develops a program. From my experience, however, I've noticed that every major app content provider, like Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, just to name a few, worked amazing. And to just give a quick example of how the YouTube app works, I have it open on my phone. I just tap the top button and I want to stream over to my Chromecast. So all I have to do is pick a video on my phone. So it's from my YouTube channel, this gaming monitor, play it, and right away it'll just throw the picture straight to the Chromecast unit as you can see playing in the background. I have volume control on my phone. It's not actually controlling your TV volume per se, it's more of the digital audio uh, that's being filtered from the phone to the TV and the Chromecast unit itself. It's wicked fast, but again, you must have a pretty fast internet connection to accomplish that. Now as mentioned earlier, you can actually cast all audio and video from your phone directly to the Chromecast unit. So that's actually what I'm doing right now. And now that I've tapped it over, I'm gonna press the home button, activate my camera, and there it is. Whatever's being displayed on my camera on my phone is now currently being displayed. There I am, hello. And it's currently being displayed on the Chromecast. And you're actually seeing that there's like a very minimal uh, lag time delay. I'm actually extremely impressed at how fast and responsive this unit is. Now in regards to streaming live TV, yes, it is possible. So in this example, I have the CTV app, which is available here in Canada and I do have an account available with them. So I've opened up their app and I'm broadcasting it to the Chromecast because their app supports it. And that's the most important thing to remember. The app must support Chromecast support. If it doesn't, it probably most likely won't work. 
So this is actually how I was able to watch the Super Bowl. Yep, it was a legal way to do it, straight through the Chromecast CTV app, and I was watching Super Bowl and it was amazingly smooth and clear, no delay whatsoever. And lastly, if you do have some sort of TV channel that broadcasts live TV on a website but they don't have a Chromecast app, you're still in luck. If you install the Google Chrome web browser on your computer or Mac, in this example I'm using a MacBook Air, you can actually choose which device you want to stream to. So in this example, I'm going to choose the Chromecast that I'm reviewing. And what's going to do is actually shoot the picture on my computer straight to the Chromecast. And here you have some additional settings. You can stop broadcasting, you can adjust uh, the bit rate if you want to. There's no wires necessary. I was able to watch NHL last night and some other sports. And I'm watching some hockey right now. And it's perfectly smooth. I'm so glad I got rid of my HDMI wire to my Mac. I don't even have to use that annoying adapter anymore for mini display port. So Google took its original Chromecast idea and basically improved upon it. One of the main things they improved upon is the support for five gigahertz signals. So if you have an AC router, you're in for a real treat. You won't have to worry as much about, you know, being too far away from the router if you're using a Chromecast unit. Now, of course, it still depends on what kind of AC router you get. I personally recommend a very particular one from Asus. You can find a link to the review of that unit, though, in the video description. But getting back on the point is that the Chromecast is not exactly an actual media player. Uh, there's nothing actually really built into it. Technically, it's a bridge between your Android device or your computer using a Chrome web browser and to your TV. Honestly, at such a low price point, again, it's not a standalone media player, but with a good Wi-Fi signal in your house or wherever you may be, it's a wicked experience. Highly recommended, especially at such a low price point. So that's the end of this review. Be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links, also in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.